Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Aaron, I'm joined once again by Kyle. How are you doing, Kyle? Not bad, not bad in the Christmas spirit. I can't oh. remember if this is the same jumper I wore in my last video. It probably is. I swear you know, I've got more. Always in the Christmas spirit. I just got the tree up yesterday or the day before. So, got a real tree in the house this year. A real no. one? A real one? Aye. Mm, I'm I must not, say not allowed to get a, a fake one. This is a spiral <laughs> jumper, by the way, if anyone can tell. Got wee dragonflies and spirals on here somewhere, so... True gamer moment right there. Gamer moment right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, today we're going to be talking about some kind of wild and wacky predictions, stuff that we would maybe like to see with the Game Awards. The Game Awards is always is kind of turned into this big thing where everyone, in my opinion, kind of blows out of proportion of what actually ends up getting revealed. You know, like they're going on about all this crazy stuff and one of the times I remember or the, the, the thing I remember the most is that they were like, oh, get a Jeff Keighley skin in Among Us. And I'm like, <laughs> they clearly you're not really like doing that mental things. Uh, of course, last time, I think it was maybe the Summer Games Fest or maybe the the awards fest before, but they had the big uh, Elden Ring review. So today we're just going to just talk about, can we casual conversation about some of the things that we would maybe like to see? Um, I'm going to get out right the gate something i might actually make a video on this week if i find the time for it but i would love to see a review for the last of us factions or some kind of last of us multiplayer title uh preferably there's a lot of rumors going about, about battle royale stuff but i would be happy for just like a kind of factions but with last of us part two gameplay maybe some slightly expanded maps a couple of mechanics added in here or there but I think it's about damn time. There's the, the, the time feels right. What's it been like? It's been like two years Cup, since they, they April, last mentioned it. Two that years. Was... No, wait, when did it come out? It feels like it's coming up to two years since Last of Us 2 came out. I, the, la the Last of Us 2 was a year and a half ago now. And Until. the last they mentioned it was maybe the beginning of 2020, where they said it's not going to be a part of the game. And it would be, it was too big a, a project. It was going to be its own thing. And there's been a lot of job listings talking about Naughty Dog hiring here or there. But I think that is kind of, to me, the number one thing going into this. It's the number one thing I go to every awards show the night where I'm like, <laughs> that's kind of the only thing that right now I'm like actively looking forward to. Because I think as well, Naughty Dog are really underrated when it comes to like multiplayer games. Because like Uncharted multiplayer is, really, Uncharted 4 was really good because you had the swing mechanics in it. You know, it just, it felt as cinematic as the main game, but in a multiplayer setting. So I think that would that would be a really cool pick of you, a big factions guy. Uh, I mean, it's a weird, I really enjoyed what I played, uh, the little mint. What I will say, so we don't make this a full factions video, just quite like, like a lot of people I speak to who aren't uh, like long-term gamers, maybe they played a bit of the PS3. Like I know a couple of people I've spoke to and they're like, oh, I used to love playing Last of Us Factions. It's got like this reputation, even mm -hmm. even though it wasn't this huge like Call of Duty, like massive mode or anything like that, it still has this really good reputation of being this really good multiplayer mode, even mm -hmm. though it's not one you would think of. So I think it'd be, especially, I just think it might be a quite a hard sell if it is its own standalone game and it's like a paid thing. So I'll be curious to see what angle they take it with. Yeah, yeah, that would be quite interesting. What about yourself? Is there something that kind of sticks out in your mind? I mean, the first one that jumps out at me is the Metal Gear Solid remake. Ah. That's been, <laughs> I mean, obviously, um, it's one of those that I, much like if you asked me six months ago if Tom, if Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield were going to be in No Way Home, I'd be like, nah, man. And now I'm <laughs> like flipped. If you asked me six months ago if we'd ever get an MGS remake, I would have said no. But it seems like that's what's i mean there's leaks every so often there seems to be just i mean kojima mm. just tweets shite day in and day out and you don't know any <laughs> what it means but it seems like it's something that's i'm pretty sure we did have i can't remember if we had a leak at some point that was like yeah it's happening mm. um it's hard to keep up at this point but um i mean on the one hand i would like to see it would be cool to see a full-on remake of the first game but equally i'd take like a, a hd collection 2.0 <laughs> which is mm. just every Metal Gear Solid game now available on new gen consoles whether that's just an upscale I'd be happy with that so but yeah because it's a hard game to remake obviously because it's so you know Kojima is like you know if you could say like he is an auteur of that game you can't really do it without him which they've already remade it before um mm. but it's not an easy game to get a hold of the twin snake so it'd be very cool to see uh, Metal Gear Solid on 
current hardware and you could finally play it so finally i know i was gonna say like just not it's what maybe matters. by mgs5 but you know oh yeah and they took didn't they take off two and three off the store recently because of like licensing issues or something so couldn't they tell you actually no yeah, well they did I, all right <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure they did um i know I, I think that's that's one folk would like to see plus because there's this sort some sort of weird like well i suppose it wouldn't be kojima though it would be Konami. Well, nobody knows what the relationship is anymore because people have said they've like reconciled and they're all right with each other again. Hence, like, I mean, my other smaller pill would have been Silent Hills, which is also still getting like, like factions for you every single award show. It's like, they're going to show Silent Hills. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. know. That, that was one I was actually very interested in. I've never played a Silent Hill game, but like that was one I played obviously PT yeah. and that did get me kind of interested. Something for me, this seemed, this is a long shot because it is mainly brought on by the fact that we've been hearing a little bit about it recently in terms of leaks and stuff like that. But I think it would be wild if we got a Bioshock reveal for the new Bioshock game, which is, what was it? I didn't I didn't get around to actually reading up on the stuff, but I, I saw yeah, like the headlines. It was like it was like set in Antarctica or something like that. And it was a new yeah, city and all this kind of stuff. But Bioshock, we I mean, we spoke about it when we done the retroactive reveal stuff, but yeah. Bioshock Infinite. And like, weirdly enough, I struggle with the first game. Like I've never stuck yeah, with it to go all the way through. But it's just the idea of it more than anything has been the thing that's, that's stuck with me. But um, that would be, that would be a, a great one. One that would kind of make me set up because a lot of these games that get revealed so often when it comes to remakes and stuff like you're talking about with Metal Gear are just kind of stuff that I don't have that attachment to so you can reveal yeah. it and I'm like oh, cool mate you know like how they're talking about Elden Ring isn't really my thing yeah um it's, it's pre-ordered it's, it though I don't care I might, I might end up play, I might end up playing it for work I actually. saw a good deal for like 38 pounds I was like that's not that's not bad. bad no that is, so that like, is I'll just take it um, but yeah, you know, speaking of The Last of Us as well, I know this this seems something maybe a little bit too recent, but it had me thinking about the potential of the factions kind of tying and how they could bring it back. Is The Last of Us uh, remaster, remaster of the remaster? You know, like the Philly again. Like, remember how they were talking about it being like remade? Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot but about like that. Like, what if you done that and you remade this game? And then just packaged it like it's just the last of us with the last of us faction but it's all brand new that could be cool yeah that would maybe that like would... A, a collection one and yeah. two plus factions i think you could bring people back as well that weren't necessarily into the idea of playing the remade version yeah but that i don't know that seems super far-fetched considering we only just heard about that earlier in the year um yeah. but i'm like is there is there anything else to you that kind of stands out um, I mean, I think those are the two like major dream titles. I think if I had to rattle some off, it'd be really cool to see something new from Valve. Um, they've mm -hmm. been obviously quite quiet since. I know they're working on the Steam Deck, um, mm -hmm. but I'd like to see you know what's next after Half Life, Alex. You know, mm -hmm. I've, well, I've spoken about that enough. That seemed like the, it's Valve are like, right, we're back in game making now, and it was one of the most like, well reviewed title of the year. And then they've kind of went quiet, and nobody knows what they're working on next. So it'd be cool. To see mm. what Valve are up to, um, yeah, it's, I just, it's so hard to predict because, like you says, like you know, Jeff Keighley's given it all on Twitter. Like there are five reviews on par with Elden Ring. I'm like, hmm, it's like it's gonna be a Fortnite skin. Like, yeah, like it's, it's gonna be something to do. Watch like, the Game Awards live within <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, um, I I don't know because I, I mean we spoke about this on Retract Review. I'm more. It's, it's it's cool to get excited that a cinematic review trailer, you know, like Spider-Man Two coming up, and it's like cool. But I'd like what gets me more excited is when they're like, "Here's a game you didn't know was coming out, and we've even got gameplay to show you as well." So uh, like, if they rather than just being like Metal Gear Solid coming 2019, 2029, I'd rather they were like Metal Gear Solid's coming out. Here's gameplay, and it's out in a year. That's yeah. more exciting to me than just um, mm -hmm. you know, like the Wolverine thing for example. That was cool, but I was also like, right show me what it looks like and i know it's uh -huh. where on development see that um i'd like to see maybe spiral the dragon come back not just because i'm wearing the jumper but, and i know it's probably not going to happen because that company's just fucking in the shitter um <laughs> but i don't know like, i always think of that iconic moment when what's his face was it sean Layden was so, was sony at the time it was uh -huh. like, 
Crash Bandicoot's back. Everyone went mental. Do that for like, it's a really obscure. Parappa the Rapper's back. <laughs> Icon. But yeah. yeah, those are just some quick fire ones. Or maybe they should come out and just announce that. I don't know. What are you, just quickly, before you say what your kind of quick fire ones, what's the Fortnite skin going to be? Um, It was Master Chief last year, right? Was it? Okay. I think that was the Game Awards. See, I struggle to kind of like think of what what kind of who's not in it at this point. <laughs> yeah, I know. Plus, it's, it's like, how do you find a uh, something that's because like if I was to say like, oh, you know, they're talking about big games and stuff, my mind just kind of goes to Elden Ring because like that's the one that's rated. But it's not a Fortnite skin. It's not like yeah. no one outside like people outside the gaming aren't going to go like, oh, that's the Elden Ring, you know, thing. So I I, I kind of like struggle to imagine what it could be. That, that, that would come into the game what even because there's nothing well, even coming out now is there one just popped into my head and it's a double whammy go the Fortnite skin will be something Harry Potter related because Hogwarts oh. Legacy is going to get a release date oh there, there we, we go, go. So, I think one of, one of the Hogwarts Legacy release date that's probably that's surely that's going to happen because it was delayed yeah I, I I like the I like the sound I would even like to see a little bit of uh, gameplay for that yeah as well for my final two a little bit of gameplay although i know this company isn't really doesn't tend to do this as much but a little bit of gameplay for starfield just because i've been kind of reading up on it and getting oh, yeah. a little bit excited for it and that would be a good kind of build up see especially if it's a big diversion from what we've known for fallout and and skyrim like to show like yeah. this is not because gameplay for gameplay wise for me those those series are shit. like I, I i just think they're borderline unplayable for me because i just i'm like it's so feels so clunky and like I, I just don't like it. Yeah. Um, I would love to see that. And the second one, which is kind of slipping my oh, the other one was actually just, I think a little bit of surprise reveal would be Returnal DLC okay. because House Mark were really see if you go into Resogun right, and I know I I love Resogun. I'm talking about it all the time. We know, but they had like a lot of. It, it, like small expansion stuff for that obviously whether it be new maps or missions or modes and all this kind of stuff there's a lot mm. of additional content that supported that game uh, post launch and Returnal being Returnal it seems kind of weird to have it where it's just like one and done I feel like there is a potential because like you go what what is this alien world you still kind of don't know in the game as far as like unless you're digging deep I don't dig deep too much but <laughs> you know that that would be that would be a, a feels like a kind of more realistic one to me to get yeah, something like I that. Can see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, is that is that you? Is there anything else that's sticking out? You've obviously rattled off more than me. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, Hogwarts Legacy came to my head right at the last minute. Um, to be honest, that is something I'd really like to see because I, I was just... actually going back and watching the old trailer for it, and mm -hmm. it looks really good. And that was I'm ages just... ago. I yeah. Uh, and that that was a while ago. I'm not actually a Harry Potter person, so again, that's another one. That I'm Sorry, it's a bit of a shameful thing to like, put out there. <laughs> Did not support J.K. Rowling. She is scum. <laughs> I made that very known on my Twitter. But I like <laughs> Harry Potter, and I think this is a game people. I think it's a game people have been asking for for forever. Oh yeah, really. yeah, for sure. Like an like, RPG. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, that so. that would that would be. I think that would be massively popular. Um, but yeah, thanks uh, everyone for watching. Obviously, if you have any last minute, we could be proven wrong with all of these. Obviously, they're not supposed to be super realistic. Yeah. Uh, but let us know down in the comments the kind of video, the kind of game, sorry, that you would like to see your kind of wildest expectations, the biggest, you know, what would make you stand up in your seat? You know, what, what are those five Elden Ring moments? De it's going to be Deathloop again. <laughs> <laughs> bring it back. Deathloop HD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <laughs> let us know and then obviously you can come back and roast us in the comments once we've been proven wrong when the game awards airs later this week but as always like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time bye